Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a very, very interesting show, Emperor Cup Spain, and the results? We don't know the results yet, but what we can see in the first call out is very interesting, very, very interesting. So, Mikhail Grigio, who won this show last year, is in the call out, sure, but is he winning this show? In my opinion, after seeing this, no, no, I'm gonna tell you later exactly why. William Bonek, who did have all the flaws that we saw in the physique updates, is actually looking phenomenal in this comparison right here. And he actually very well might take the win. I'm not sure, but right off the bat, I'd say he's either first or second. It's gonna be either him or... Bechrus Taban, in my opinion, I think Mikhail Krizio is not gonna be in this top 2 right here. Why? Well, I think it's mainly because he didn't really bring the conditioning. As I said, it seemed like this time around he was going for more fullness, but it, it just, he didn't nail the conditioning. Sure, fullness is great, he should be full, but he still needs to be a little bit more conditioned, and in this callout against these guys, who are absolutely ripped, you know, William Bonac and Bechrus Dabani, I don't think his shape and his size are gonna be enough. As you can see, Bonac, as we all know, is peeled, is full. This is not him at his best. You can see the flaws, like his right leg definitely doesn't have the separation like the left one. Also, like in the most muscular shots, his arms are smaller, his shoulders and chest lost that fullness. But, I mean, against these guys, he's actually holding his own, he's actually looking very good. Sas Hirati was in the initial top 4 callout, but then he dropped out. So that guy is probably gonna place 4th, and in the top 3, we do have William Bonac, Mikhail Krizio, and Bechrus Tabani. The judges switched these guys around, so we can't really, based on that, we can't really tell who they might have for the win. But honestly, it might be William Bonac. From what I'm seeing right here, it very well could be him. Him or Bechrus. Bechrus is also looking freaking phenomenal. He's more symmetrical. You can see right here, William's left lat, like we saw in the physique updates, is also kind of melted. Uh, right leg also, fullness in the, in, the, in the arms and chest and shoulders from the front is not great. Not what it used to be. But against these guys, I mean, it might be enough. This pose right here is the reason why I would go with Bechrus. Because the waist, and simply because his physique is more fresh. He's a younger bodybuilder, up and coming, and William Bonnick is on his way out. Let's be real. But he actually brought it crazy here. I mean, considering that he was off for a while, he wasn't competing, this is his comeback. He actually looks freaking great. He got maximum out of his physique at this point in his career. I don't think he could have done any better job. And it actually might be enough to take the win and qualify for the Mr. Olympia once again. Krizio missed it. He missed the conditioning. Also, his posing, as usual, is not perfect. Uh, I mean, he has the size, he has the completeness, he has the wow, the freak factor... But, I mean, at this show, I don't see him winning. He's gonna win another show, the next show he does, once he tightens up. But here, I don't see him winning. Bechrus Tabani, in my opinion, it's very tight for the win. I would go with him because of the freshness factor, right? He has that clean look, fresh-looking lines. Sashi Rati, considering his last show was all the way back in 2017... He came back and he really nailed it. His conditioning was spot on. Uh, I also don't think he could have looked any better. He is apparently fourth right now, but maybe things can change until the finals. Maybe he can actually, you know, surpass somebody like Mikhail Krizio and place third. I wouldn't be too surprised. His conditioning is spot on. But I don't think it's gonna happen because he wasn't in that uh, top three call out, and that was for a reason. Krizio is. Still the defending champion, he's top 7 at the Mr. Olympia. It would be kind of embarrassing if they put him out of that top 3. Now, let's take a look at these high-quality photos. I mean, forget about those videos. You guys can see everything exactly the way it is right here. So, Krizio, conditioning not nailed. 
But take a look at his legs compared to Bekrus Tabani. Like, his legs are world class. Bekrus still needs to work on the quads to bring them up. They're still not his strongest body part. They are better. I would say they're better than before. But still, still they are weakness. Because of his conditioning, I think he's definitely more so in conversation for winning this show than Krijo. And Bonak, I mean, he has actually more size in the legs than Bekrus. Because he's shorter, he definitely has a little bit more pop. Yeah, the right leg lost the detail. It's not what it was when he was at his best. But against Bekrus, it's actually looking pretty good. Arms, not the usual William Bonek arms. You know, he was known for, like, sintelish arms. I don't know if it was sintel, I think it wasn't actually, but people were accusing him of that because his arms were humongous. They were freaky, they were just wow. Here, as you can see, they're definitely a lot flatter, which is what happens with age usually. Waist looks even blockier now because he probably lost some fullness in the legs and in the lats. You will see it from behind. Left lat is gone. But conditioning is just spot on. I mean, Stefan Kinzel really brought him in perfectly picked. That guy freaking knows what he's doing. He's one of the best coaches in the world right now. The way he's picking these guys, it's, it's crazy. So because of Stefan Kinzel, if anybody else prepped William Bonek right now, in my opinion... William Bonek would not look this good, and I wouldn't be saying that he might win this show. So he picked perfectly. Side chest is one of the shots that we can give to William Bonek, because in that shot he can hide all the problems. He can hide the right leg, he can hide the lat. Uh, you don't see the problem in the fullness, like in the chest, and the shoulders, and the arms. In the side shots, he looks just shredded, detailed, phenomenal. Bechrus looks fuller and bigger and also very detailed. You also don't see the lack of size in the legs of Bechrus the Bunny in the side shots. So he looks phenomenal right here. Krijo, yeah, conditioning is not in. So in my eyes, he's not in contention for winning this show right here. He missed it. He definitely missed it. If he was 10%, 15% sharper, I would have him winning because he's the most complete guy overall, muscularity-wise. But conditioning, he just didn't land it. He definitely missed it for a couple of weeks. So this shot, it's close between Bonak and Bechrus. Bechrus is bigger and fuller. Bonak is probably even more detailed, more cut. Very, very close. Back double bicep, I gotta give it to Bonak because of the crazy detail. Head to toe, like lower body, lower back is really conditioned, really detailed. Uh, glutes also. But then again, Bechrus is also looking phenomenal. His glutes are looking insane, very peeled. Hamstrings also very detailed. A crazy small waist, you know, a little bit uh, higher inserted lats, but still very good looking back double bicep. I just still prefer Bonek because he's so polished, so, so dry, so full as well. Really flows well in this shot. Uh, back lat spread. You can see here that the left lat of Bonek is not looking very good. Bechrus is looking phenomenal, so I give this one to Bechrus. Krijo, let's not even talk about him at this point. We can cut him out of this picture because of conditioning. He's just not in the conversation, in my opinion. Bechrus is winning this one, so still very close between these two guys. Side tricep, also very, very close between Bechrus and Bonek. Bonek is looking phenomenal in this one. The way he's hitting it, uh, with, with uh, the stomach tucked in. I don't think his midsection looked ever this good in the side shots. I don't think his waist looked ever this small. And I don't think he ever had this kind of details and conditioning in, in the legs from the side. He looks really cut, really. Like the, the, the arms and the shoulders and the chest, they did lose the fullness. But as far as the peak, the conditioning, damn, he looks freaking phenomenal. But Bechrus is bigger, fuller. So guys, be my guest. You tell me what do you think. Details or the size and freshness. Now this one, Bechrus nails it. With his small tiny waist compared to William Bonek's wide, really wide waist. No wee taper whatsoever. And with the lack of details in one of the quads. Yeah, this one, Bechrus takes this one. Krejo, once again, completely missed it. I don't think he was just... I don't think he was lacking conditioning that much as much as he missed the peak. He looks water. He looks like something went wrong with the peak week. I saw the physique updates. He didn't look that bad. Yeah, he looked... Like I said, he looked like he was bringing the fullness, not crazy conditioning, but you can see here 
This just looks smooth, completely smooth. I think he spilled over big time. And also he didn't bring super crazy conditioning. But he also spilled over. I'm, I'm pretty sure he messed up his peak week somehow. He needs a top level coach. He's coached by somebody from Slovakia. I don't know the guy's name, but he is not a top level coach. Maybe he needs to switch coaches in, in some point in the future. I think if he worked with some of the best coaches in the world, like, I don't know, let's say, Hani Rambert, Milo Sharchev, the other guys, like, he would flourish. But, yeah, I mean, he's doing well already, so this is just one show that went bad. I think he's gonna tighten up a lot for the next show he does and really nail it and win. Win the next show he does. I'm not sure which show he's doing. The next European show is, I believe, in Italy. Nathan Diasha is doing it. Maybe these guys are doing it too. I think Bechros is doing it as well. But if uh, Krizio nails the conditioning, comes in, let's say, 20-30% better, more, just more tight, more conditioned, I think he can win these shows. I think he's that good. Yeah, he just really, really failed badly here. Most muscular, as you can see at this point, they switch these guys around, they put Bechros the body in the middle. Uh, in my opinion, he wins this one. William Bonek, I mean, this is not the Bonek that I'm used to. Like, the Bonek, at his best, he had really good details in both of the legs, more fullness also, especially, not just in the legs, but more so in, like, in the front, upper body, like, uh, arms and shoulders and, and chest was more symmetrical and fuller, and waist was probably a little bit tighter. So, I mean, this is also very good, but the way Bechrus flows with his small waist and, like, crazy, not just weight taper, but, like, axe frame, yeah, I have him winning this pose too. And I would say front Latsport as well. I mean, yeah, Bonak has, like, better conditioning. He's drier, he's more detailed, he's more cut. But look at the way Bechrus is flowing, man. And these days, the judges are awarding prettier shape, you know. So, with, uh, he's also very conditioned. He's also very shredded. His legs is the only flaw. But, you know, William Bonak's legs are not any better. Overall, in my opinion... I mean, I can see Bonak winning this show. It kind of looks like he's leading right now. But personally, I would go with Bechrus Tabani. Whatever you guys think, whoever you think should win this show, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.